Is iOS 6 truly obsolete in 2017? I doubt many people care, but iOS 6 is kind of popular for its looks and rock solid stability, including its speed. It's pretty fast on this 4S, which I'll be conducting all my tests on. Let's look at the apps available, including social media. A lot of modern apps will not download on iOS 6 because it says you need a newer firmware. However, some apps allow you to download a previous version that is compatible. If you're jailbroken, getting apps to run on older iOS firmwares is much easier. I downloaded an app called AppCake from Cydia, and it gives you links to older downloads. iOS 6 Features The problem with iOS 6 is it's missing some features that most people become accustomed to, and it's hard for them to live without, such as Control Center and lack of Siri support. Also, you can't access Notification Center on the lock screen without a jailbreak tweak. Communication iOS 6 works just fine with iMessage and SMS messaging. Phone calls also work perfectly fine as well, as expected. Social media was a mixed bag though. Email, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter work just fine. However, they are all older versions of the app, so they may be missing features from the newer versions. And in the future, they may not even work at all. I couldn't get Snapchat working at all because when you open the app, it complains you need a newer firmware. iOS 6 plays music just fine and browsing the web works just fine also. At least for the iPhone 4S and 5, the iPod 4th gen and 3G will most likely crash a lot from the lack of RAM. If you can get past the lack of software support and uh, features, which you can actually get back using, or not get back, but you can actually gain features from jailbreak. And if you have a 4S or 5, I would actually encourage you to update to at least iOS 8.4.1, which, which you can actually update to using over the air method, which pretty much means going to the settings app and going to software update. However, if you're a collector or a geek like me, then you might prefer iOS 6 and don't really mind missing all the latest features and stuff and would much rather have a reliable phone. And you might even stay on iOS 6 because it's rock solid and really doesn't crash that much, at least on the iPhone 4S. And plus in the future, it may even be worth more money because iOS 6 isn't signed anymore. But if you're on a jailbreakable firmware, you can actually downgrade if you're on a compatible um, iPhone. Well, I'm glad you watched the video the entire way through. And if you liked the video, please make sure to like the video through YouTube to make sure that I'm doing a good job. You'll see me in the next video.